quick tutorial for tree brushes for your site plans. You're going to need two things, an image of the top of the trees like this, preferably a PNG, and a texture of the leaves. So the brush is going to work like opacity masks. Anything that is black or closer to black is going to be less transparent and anything closer to white is going to be more transparent. So knowing this, we can go to the camera raw filter, change this to black and white. As you can see, everything's pretty much gray, so it's going to be semi-transparent. So what we want to do is make it a little more dark. After we've made those changes, go to Edit, Define Brush Preset, and then name it whatever you want. And as you can see, it's highlighting that you have a brush now. We're then going to go to the image of the leaves, and then we're going to go to Edit, Define Pattern, in this leaves and then go to your composition next we're going to make a new layer as you can see it automatically went to the brush tool and you can see the pattern of the brush that we made you can also check it by going to the brush and then down here whatever you named it it should be the same here so then you can start painting your brush but as you can see, they look exactly the same. So in order to fix that, we're going to go to the brush settings, click on brush tip shape, and under spacing, you're going to go around 100%. Click on shape dynamics, go to angle jitter, and increase it. As you can see, it'll start to rotate each tree drawn individually. On size jitter, it changes the sizing of each individual tree. So now we can go and draw more trees. And as you can see, it starts changing them. Next, we need to change the layer style so that the pattern can show up on the trees. So double click on trees, then go to pattern overlay. So the composition started to look better, but the trees look a little flat. So in order to fix that, we can go and add a drop shadow under layer styles and for this you'll have to use the shadows of your composition and try to match them change this depending on the angle of the sun as well as the height of the trees so something for this that means that the trees are super tall but something like this the trees are a little bit shorter make sure that the blend mode here is set to multiply so that the textures underneath can show up so next we're going to go to inner shadow We'll use the inner shadow to give the tree some depth. See, that's starting to look way better now. Make sure that this is also set to multiply. And typically, this will be, will be turned on. Make sure it's turned off. That way, it's independent of whatever settings you have in the drop shadow. So then try to match it with the shadow that you have. That looks about right. Next, we're going to add the inner shadow. We're going to add another inner shadow, but this one makes sure that it is an overlay and the color is set to white. And we're going to add it to the opposite side of the shadow that we just placed to make it look like the sun is hitting that side of the tree. So you can draw trees individually like this, or you can draw multiple ones like that. In order to do that, you click once and then hold down shift and then click again. And that's how you create tree brushes.